Hey Forest fans, Max Newton here on Talk Forest TV. Hit that like, comment, subscribe button. Giving you a quick preview of Nottingham Forest at home to Tottenham Hotspur on Friday. So the first game of the weekend, great opportunity to get those points on the board uh, and then relax and chill out over the rest of the weekend, doing our Christmas shopping, buying our Forest Christmas jumpers, uh, writing Christmas cards and uh, eating more cheese and beetroot cobs. Um, Hopefully, we're eating cheese and beetroot cobs with the taste not only of the juicy vegetable, but also of victory. And I think we will. I think we um, we go into the game um, after having a bit of a moment. You know, we've had we've had a equivalent of last season's Leicester moment, and I think the uh, the Wolves game is probably the equivalent of our Villa moment, uh, Brighton away moment where we changed up the system, we changed up the personnel a lot, we made seven changes um, and came out fighting for the manager. And um, again, like last year, we didn't come out with wins in those games, but we put a point on the board, we put performance on the board, um, we showed the uh, certain members of the squad that there's members of the squad that are willing to fight for the manager and we showed the owner that the players were willing to fight for the manager and most importantly, the fans. And I think, um, you know, I think it's going to be a cracking atmosphere on Friday. Um, everybody's behind the manager in the ground, but we need, really need to get behind the manager in the ground. So it's one of those games where, um, you know, instead of 3,000 fans away uh, singing for the manager, it's 29,000 fans at home singing for the manager. And, um, you know, I hope the players respond. And I think they will respond because I think Steve Cooper will pick pretty much the same side that, um, was on the field away at Wolves, which is players he knows, players that he trusts, players that we know will fight for the team. And it's no coincidence, I think, that um, when he picked those players, much improved performance, especially in midfield, especially work rate, especially pressing. Um, and, you know, lots of players coming out in support of the manager immediately post-game and throughout the week. And they're all the players that were signed last season, um, you know, so that, that's, I think, we'll start. I think Harry Toffolo is nailed on left back. Uh, I think Nico Williams is nailed on right back or left wing back and right wing back. So I think we will play five at the back. And there'll be some moaners um, on the way to the ground claiming saying oh, it's defensive, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, it, it allows those wing backs to get forward. It allows Nico to do what he does best, which is getting up and down that right wing. It allows Toffolo to do what he does best, which is getting up there, getting those crosses in um, and getting on the end of them as well, which we saw brilliantly away at Wolves. Um, Toffolo got to go down as, uh, you know, joining the Mangala club um, as um, players we didn't expect to be um, really coming to the fore this season and, and, and being the first names on the team sheet. And, you know, what, I think Nico Williams will be one of those players as well. Um, he was fantastic when he came on against Wolves. I think he was in the... He was in the top five or top ten for um, for stats in terms of tackles and uh, ball recoveries and so on. Um, and yet that weekend, and yeah, I was only on the pitch for ten and a half minutes or something like that. Um, so yes, I think we'll have that same side. I think um, Morgan Gibbs White in the middle. Um, I don't think Sangare or Dominguez will play. And there's been a bit of debate last week, which I've been pulled into on social media about. Sangare, um, you know, yes, players coming in from overseas need, you know, do take time. Um, and yes, a one knee took a bit of time. He didn't look anywhere near as bad as Sangare looked. And he didn't look like he was chucking his manager under the bus like Sangare looked. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, I, I want him to do well and I hope he does well. But at the moment, his performances have been, have been frankly shocking. Um, so I don't think Sangare or Dominguez will play. Um, I think we'll probably play Langer uh, in that in that up front role, which I think actually will be give us a, a really good chance with those, those wing backs, um, ball coming through midfield quite quickly um, to wing backs and to Langer. You know, with with um, Spurs with their notorious high line, um, I think we'll have a real opportunity to break that high line, um, which we've seen a number of teams do with success. Um, cause I think it, it's a bit crazy to be honest. Um, danger men for Spurs, I think, are Son. You know, um, 
I was looking at like doing a derby in my fantasy team last week uh, until Son pulled me like 27 points out of the bag. So Son is a real danger man, especially if he's playing in his preferred position out wide. Um, ben and Johnson, the curse of the player coming back to his old club, but also, you know, one of our own. Um, no hard feelings from me. and I think no hard feelings from the vast majority of Forest fans who will give him a good reception. Um, but obviously, I hope he doesn't score. Um, Spurs have got a lot of injuries. Um, not making a, as much of a big deal of it as the whiners up in Newcastle. Um, but they've got a lot of injuries, which hopefully helps us. I think probably Richarlison, uh, uh, a fit and confident Richarlison is, is dangerous as well. Um, so who's going to kick him in the air uh, this time if uh, Brennan's not able to do that? Um, maybe Morgan Gibbs White. I think Morgan might do, do it on, on Richarlison if he starts to take the piss this time. Um, so yeah, hopefully, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to predict a 2-1 win for Forrest. Goals for Malanga and Morgan Gibbs White. Stevie Cooper fist bumps. Cheese and beetroot cobs all round. Um, manager publicly backing, uh, owner publicly backing the manager. Kill all the mad speculation from Talksport and Nottinghamshire Live and Nottingham Evening Post and all those idiots that are just reporting um, Twitter comments from Dave from Bullwell as news. Come on, guys, sort it out. It's supposed to be news. It's supposed to be newspapers. It's supposed to be reporters. You're better than that. You're better than that. Um, yeah, come on, you Reds. Let's do it. You Reds.